show you the tea that I've been getting in Europe. They give you just the plain water in a cup and you have to add your own tea bag and sugar and you have to specifically ask for milk on the side because they don't give you milk otherwise. <laughs> Behind the camera. <laughs> this is how Hayden actually is. <laughs> Little turtle. Get out of there. They've got a uh, fromage, like melted cheese in there, and it smells like cheese in the whole place. That's fondue. Why. Yeah, fondue, sorry. No, I've been in Paris for too long. <laughs> but that's why we're sitting outside so we can get some fresh air, but it is fresh air. And expensive air. <laughs> and ex oh yes, I will show you our dinner Coffee. when it comes out. This is the first we're seeing of the tip of the mountain. Maybe that's not even the tip, who knows? It could be up here. You know, in Cloudy with a Tan to Meatballs, when the um burgers start raining from the sky and they're all like Ooh. that's exactly what i just did with the gigantic mountain Ooh. it is so beautiful what a pretty tree that goes on forever this is our little town but it is a full tourist town for Grindelwald. The whole street is full of tourist things. So it's extremely expensive. Also like a once in a lifetime thing. So we're gonna do it anyway. Outfit status, not on point because this is a mixture of traveling here all day for six hours and quickly put something on to go walking. This yeah, is- Yeah, I'll just do this. Hide it, zip it up. <laughs> Hayden wants to drink out of this fountain and then I just saw it was a love heart. Isn't it cute? Also these are our drinking waters. Some little bears. Hello Teddy. Hello. We've walked up the road and away from the town a little bit and these mountains just keep getting bigger and bigger. That there is a full like house where all the gondolas pull up. And <laughs> this is what you can actually see. And it's all still covered by the clouds up there. There's more mountains in the background over here somewhere. We haven't even seen the full thing. In all. No. Nope. What? I don't know. Don't know what? How big they are. Don't know how big they are. Nope. Alright, we're going <laughs> I already started eating mine. There you go. We can see the top of it. And there, yeah, is another mountain over Some here. Some can't see all of it yet. Wowie, wowie. Just like look how, for reference, how big it is. Let's just grow bigger overseas. This is a squash. You know those tiny little yellow things we have in the store? This is it. It's bigger than my hands. Look. A little picnic. This is what we bought from the shops instead of buying and a dinner. A picnic with a good view. Oh, I was getting to the view. Oh, sorry. The view <laughs> Here's the view. You can't really see because of the lighting, but that's the other side too. And I have a chicken leg. Oh, it's chicken. a lamy. It smells chicken. like chicken. The chicken you get from Woolworths. Oh, yum. In the world, they offer like a little sports entertainment center. And do you want to see what Hayden's freaking out about I'm right now? I'm not freaking out about it, but I've never done it before. It's this little high ropes course parkour thingy 
that Hayden thinks is like practice for alpine regions because there's like a slide and you have to walk over a ladder and it's it is pretty tricky looking but I said it would be so fun to do what excuse me <laughs> look at them right look at them no you can't see that below that Move your they, they go swing left to right then you go through that and then you have to scale up the icicle the fake icicles I should say over to the next one and then you have to I think by the looks of it, either tightrope walk or I'm assuming it looks like a tightrope. So tightrope walk across the next one, and then the next one again, and then you have to get across the final one right down the end. That's almost vertical. <laughs> that's not a normal high rope. It's practice. <laughs> it's, it's practice. It probably is because there's also a rock climbing wall or a bouldering wall just in there. But there's like an ice rink down here, table tennis over there, and then there's a indoor swimming pool, spa, and slide. This is how clear the mountains are today. You can see all of them. We're walking, we're hiking like this today. Hayden, in the wild, going on a hike up this mountain, and then across. Give me a second. Do you want a cable car in? I'm not taking cable car. Up to, I can't even see because of the sun. Hiking up to that cable cut, then walking along the side of the mountain so that we can see this mountain. Ooh la la. Our hike, we're the pink line. And then out the red line. Morning skydives over Grindwald. There's Grindwald, and I think we're about to go in there into the forest. There's a mountain. We're, there's a mountain. We've got to go up another 600 meters. Huh? 600 more meters. Let's go. The Schweiz. The Schweiz. Oh, hi ho. It's into the forest we go. Do 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 do. I could show you better, but this is all steep hill. There is no flat bits. This is as flat as it gets until we have to walk back up there anyway. Currently sitting on a rock. What? <laughs> Look how tall the trees are in here. And there's moss on all the roots and all the other rocks. Hey Hayden. How are you doing? <laughs> and a giant rock. It's like a gigantic fairy garden. Come on. Got a long way to go. Yes, we do. Every so often we have to stop for sustenance. Jordan sustenance. Jordan sustenance. That's not the sustenance. <laughs> My Sharpie. Sharpie. <laughs> These toffee things I tried. Oh. I think it was when I was in Russia, but it could have been any other country for Jim. They are the most amazing things ever. May you open them and do the grand reveal. It's so bad for us. No, they're so good for you. Oh yeah. Oh, what kind of husband? He just gave himself one first and then ate a second one and then didn't even give me a second one. Disappointed. Chocolate tax. They're delicious. It's just toffee with like Nutella and a hazelnut inside, but it's really good. Off track because this is a very difficult hike. Off you go. And I don't want to walk around there. There's our next climb up there. It's a little squishy up here. Oh, I hate in a trail! Nice They're thing. slimy, aren't they? Yeah. Come on. No spiders in here. 
I cannot explain just how big this is. It's huge. And that's just a rock, that's not the mountain. That is one big slug. I don't know. As soon as you're, this, this path isn't too wide, but looking down there makes you feel very, very woozy. So we're sticking <laughs> right to the edge over here near the rock wall so that we don't accidentally slip, which I don't think would happen, but just in case, because that's a tad scary down there. But it's beautiful nonetheless. Yeah, we might even have a barrier. Yeah, I know. And this is the cliff face, mind you. And the path is just rubble, example A. But it's gorgeous here. Look how pretty. So clear. Yeah, I know. Snack break with a view standing off the path and away from the edge. 150 years ago, this glacier used to be at the same level as what we're at now. It's crazy. Also, can you see that really beautiful little alpine lake? Puffed. And that over there is still our trail. We're going around. Dear God. Ah, pretty, worth it, but it's hard. There's beer at the top. Yes. There's a bar at the top that sells wheat beer. This is my motivation. Most people on their honeymoon decide, oh, let's go to a nice beach and just relax for the whole week. No. Nah. We're just gonna hike the Swiss Alps. <laughs> to, to the Alps. Oh, hike to the Alps from the ground. A few people we've walked past They've gotten the gondolas halfway up and then are walking. Not us. Let's go. See you next time. <laughs> see you in two seconds in the next clip. We've made it further, but do you see these people? There? Oh dear. Here we go. here thinking how beautiful it is with all the greenery and like houses down there and then just panned over I was like oh yep but there's also a gigantic like ice glacier just to the other side of you not to mention a very steep drop off which I'm not even going to attempt to show you because I don't want to go close to the edge <laughs> got some more skydivers up here that would be really pretty 15 minutes, there's a flag. The end is in sight. Who there, he's translating. Ready, 15 more minutes. Yep. Heady hop. Last path. This is how big my feet are, FYI. <laughs> to the path, but we're nearly there. That's it. Oi. Shit. <laughs> Some nice people and had about a five minute chat break down the bottom. And I think that made it worse to be quite honest with you. <laughs> it was good for four seconds and now we're dead again. That was so close. These are all sheep. I wonder if you can hear them. I can. <laughs> They're all so loud. Look at them run. 
The sheep here are very active. There's people hiking to the sheep. Oh no, they're coming back. But there's another hike you can do somewhere around that way. And there's more over there. We are not doing that. No, not, not this time. Next no, time. we've already walked for about four hours, so we're good. Mm. <laughs> These are the names of the mountains around here. On our track back down the mountain. It's a bit colder now. It is. We've been sitting for a while. No, I think. Bye. Bye, bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. We will not be back for a while, but we're going down the hill now. I don't know. Maybe. Mm. Mm. Hey, big fella. I think your name is Jacko. All right. Bye, bye, Jacko. You better get off the trail. Bye, bye, Jacko. It's pretty big, look how big he is. Mm. This is the toboggan slide that I wanted to do, but there's so many people and a massive line. And it looks like a very big like touristy attraction and it just comes back up rather than going down to Grindelwald. So we're not doing that, but there's some cows having a game over there. Someone's dog has gone cross country and <laughs> ran up this hill. Do you want to go down it? Honestly, it's no different. One hour. Number three. Walking down there. One more hour of walking. We've been yeah. walking from 10 a.m. 9.30. I'm dead. It's not too bad. We're nearly there. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. It's starting to rain. Let's go. Turns out this was the original hike we were supposed to do. Hayden and I ventured through all those trees there. I think the lowest point there the lowest point on the far on the right hand mountain one sticking out oh yep we we're a bit higher than that on the, this mountain though so i don't know how high it is but well i do it was like 1600 meters or something like that so reasonably high so this is the easy hike that we were planning yeah well i'm a knee though yeah and joints are in a bit of pain in a good way though this is very fun I gotta go and watch where I'm going. I'm gonna fall up my butt. This is so pretty. I was just saying that that mountain looks like the mountain in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with the icing sugar on the top of it. Look how cool this mushroom is. It looks like a light bulb. Wow, there's only one of them. I don't know where its family is. a clear view of the mountain we walked up to yesterday. We are finished in Grindelwald and now we're on the train to Zurich but we're in Zurich for two hours which is where the Lindt chocolate factory is but it sold out for what what was it a week or a month? Uh, until the middle of September. Yeah so we can't go but that's okay so we have to sit there for two hours and then we go to Innsbruck. Yeah it's a bit hot though compared to what we this is it's like 27 degrees celsius compared to I think it's been 16 as a high here in any three of the days that we've been in, in Grindelwald so it's gonna suck but oh well. We will see you in Innsbruck. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen.